Hello, Ospreys. Welcome back to another episode of Afternoon Scoop on Inside Swoop in 90. I'm Felicity Timbering here to give you Inside Scoop on Inside Swoop. First, as mass shootings continue to flood the nation, three people were fatally shot and two were injured Sunday evening at an Indiana mall after a man with a rifle opened fire. AP reports that the shooting ended just as soon as it started as an armed civilian shot and killed the gunman. Greenwood Police Department Chief Jim Eisen stated that the civilian was a 22-year-old who was legally carrying a firearm and states that he is, quote, the real hero. Next, jury selection begins Monday in the trial of Steve Bannon. Bannon was a one-time advisor to President Trump and is facing criminal contempt of Congress charges after defying a subpoena from the House Committee investigation that's investigating the January 6th riot at the Capitol. AP states that Trump asserted executive privilege, which prevented Bannon's testimony. However, a week ago, Bannon stated that he was ready to testify as Trump waived his executive privilege. Finally, as the investigation committee continues its findings on the Uvalde shootings, a report and hours of body camera footage confirm their findings. Three hours of newly released body camera footage emphasize the failures that took place on May 24th. The report released by the committee lays out these numerous failures, stating that, quote, no one assumed command, they waited for supplies they weren't sure they needed, and they failed to breach the classroom, although knowing a child was trapped with the shooter on call with 911. This has many families and the Uvalde community calling for accountability among the department. Well, Ospreys, thank you for joining me on this episode of Afternoon Scoop on Inside Swoop and 90. I'm Felicity Simbrink, and I'll see you next time.